Welcome, this is Vince of VincePrep.com. You're watching my YouTube channel. I'll be talking about the Harvard essay for the incoming class of 2016. If you're interested in my counseling service, head on over to VincePrep.com. Here in my YouTube channel, there's a bunch of different videos where you can listen to my essay analysis or interview tips, or in some cases, interviews with my former clients. Um, this video is about the essays. You can see my results for Harvard Business School over at VincePrep.com. Very briefly, since 2007, 2008, I've helped 14 people comprehensively with essays and interviews get into Harvard. Last year was a very good year. In round one, I worked with three comprehensive clients. 100% of them were invited to interview and 100% of them, all three, were admitted. Uh, and then round two, there was one more person, so a total of four. In addition to that, there were four other people in round one and two who were coming to me only for the interview training. So a total of eight last year, four comprehensive essay plus interview and four additional only interview. Fourteen since 2008. I've been doing this work since 2002. I don't publish my results between 2002-2007 because I was working for a big company uh, co-directing the admissions counseling department at one of the largest test prep companies um, and largest consulting admissions counseling consulting services in in Asia, the biggest one in Japan by far, and one of the largest ones outside the United States. Uh, so I don't talk about those results, but even in those days, one or more clients in an average year, anywhere between zero and four clients were getting into Harvard again that I was helping with essays and interviews. Um, those are my results. This is the question for this year. There's only one essay, as you know, and here, these are Harvard's words, not mine, is Harvard's essay question for the class of 2016. You are applying to Harvard Business School, right? <laughs> we can see your resume, academic transcripts, extracurricular activities, awards, post-MBA career goals, test scores, and what your recommenders have to say about you. Then the question is, what else would you like us to know? What else? Two words. What else? What else do you want us to know about you? So this is the question. Um, I think that there are two basic ways to answer this question. Um, the first way is, what else? There are things that you want to tell Harvard. Um, I want to tell Harvard something about my background. Um, I don't have to. This is for someone who's highly competitive. This is what I call path one. Path one people are highly competitive, and they, but they want to tell Harvard something else that's not already apparent in the seven things listed above. Um, that's path one. Path two is someone who needs to tell Harvard something, um, that there's a, there's a problem, if you will, or there's a potential. I'll, I'll use a visual here. So everyone, let's hope, Pro comes into Harvard as a blank slate, as a balanced set of scales, right? Um, and let's say this is the invite to interview pile. The path one person very much is already clearly in the invite to interview pile, already. And the essay hopefully doesn't hurt. A bad essay would probably, you know, revert you back to flat or even hurt you. A bad essay, a, a, something that showed poor judgment. Um, but a good essay, an essay that's interesting and does add value, would probably, uh, you're already in this pile and it keeps you in this pile of let's invite this person to interview. A path, a path two person, let's say, is flat or even maybe slightly negative and what, what a path two person wants to do is take this thing that might be slightly negative, move it from the weakness column into the strengths column and again and get, get invited to the interview because of the essay, because something in the essay um, was said that needed to be said, and it was said well. <laughs> so that's the goal here, path one and path two, folks. So you've got to understand which two paths you are. And look, this, these are my categories. This is not coming from Harvard. This is coming from me. This is based on my data, my experience, my um, history of watching the patterns year after year of who typically gets invited to interview and passes the interview and who typically gets invited to interview and doesn't pass the interview and who typically
doesn't get invited to interview. I've been watching the patterns year after year after year, and I've built up a bit of experience and results, I think, that proves that I'm not the world's greatest expert on how to get into Harvard Business School, but I do have some information, and I think, again, a method, in this case, to understand, very simplistically, am I path one or am I path two? So let me talk more about these pathways.